I'm here to answer some frequently asked questions to me about shipping electronics via LBC airmail from U.S. to the Philippines or U.S. to Manila. The most common question I get asked a lot is that say if I ship out an iPhone, this is the latest iPhone 13, to the Philippines, will my family or friends need to pay anything to the delivery person? The answer to this is no. The reason for this is because when you drop off your box to LBC to be sent out via airmail, you already pay in advance the electronic tax fee or the customs tax fee. So example, if I'm shipping this to Manila, I will be only paying $30 for the tax fee plus the LBC shipping fee, uh, the LBC airmail shipping fee. Another question I get asked a lot is that how many electronic items can I ship to the Philippines? I asked the LBC representative and they told me that you can ship a maximum of two electronic items. So you can ship an iPhone and then you can also ship an iWatch to the Philippines and then pay also the tax fee for the iWatch. So for the tax fee for the iWatch, it would be $30. So you're going to pay a tax fee for the iPhone or iPad, and then a tax fee for the second electronic item. The shipping fee to send airmail to the Philippines vary by where you live in the U.S. and where you're sending it to the Philippines. So a good example is that if I am only sending out this to the Philippines using the smallest box, um, I can be paying $20 to airmail this to Manila, plus the electronic tax fee of $30. So in total, I, I am sending this to, the, to Manila for $50 in total. I hope I was able to answer most of your questions. Do check always with your local LBC branch for any increase or changes in the rates. Um, if you have any other questions, please leave it in the comment and I will do my best to answer them. This is a reminder that items such as jewelry, cash, legal documents like passports and wills are items that are not allowed to be shipped using LBC airmail.